Hi, this is Mark Delise, and I am pleased to announce the new addition. There's a new blog page template of SalesPress Pro. Obviously, it has a lot of excellent page templates, and one of the new features is that it has a robust, really good looking blog page template that you can set up a nice looking blog with sidebar with all kinds of things. What I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to go over the overall features and then I'm going to create another couple little videos to go over some of the details on how to set it up. So first of all, let's, let's look at the overall features of this new blog page template. All right. First of all, go into your uh, WordPress dashboard and here's your WordPress dashboard. And I'm going to go to pages and I already have one open here. You just go to your pages and here's one of my pages here. And I, I just named it blog page and there's the, uh, there's the name there, blog page. Now you can call it blog and then you can go to your settings and your, and your reading and set up your, this page as your home page, whatever you want to do, whatever setup you want to do. A lot of people do it that way. But for illustration purposes, I've actually called this one blog page. And if you come down here, the template here, uh, is obviously called blog page. There it is right there. You select blog page. All right. And here you can set all your different uh, features and page options, just like all the other things with your bullets and, and whatever, whatever you want to do. All right. For your page options. Now, uh, once that's set up, you can put some content in there for your page. And once that's set up, then you can go ahead and create posts. Now, but before that, you need to go to your dashboard and you need to go to Sales Press Pro and uh, set up all your different features of your blog page template. So let's do that right now. I will go in here and I'll click on there. And here, and here you can see there's all the different global settings for Sales Press Pro um, or your theme options. And you can come down here and it says blog settings. You click on blog settings and this opens up. And now you'll see on the top, there's four different um, uh, sections here. There's the header logo options. There's the navgar options, search bar, blog options, and the footer options. First of all, if you look at the header logo options, you'll see that um, what I have, obviously I have this design right here, right here, um, what I have, I have obviously the height is 125. I have the header image enabled and all I have is a background image. All right. This background image, I'll show you just let me right click. That's all it is. It's just that little image right there that goes across the entire width of it. All right. Now, when you enter a black, a background image, it's going to go to the, it's going to give you the effect where it goes to the side the complete page width. All right. That's what a background image will do. It'll go to the complete width page width of the, uh, of the header. If you only want a header image and, and you want it to be 1000 pixels wide, then only put a, a background image or excuse me, only put a header image, not a background image. And so this, this section right here, it says header image URL, uh, best image is a thousand pixels wide. You just upload that right here and your header image will be, will, will end, will end right here. See, see the, see the side of the sidebar. So your header image will end right here and, and you can simply just use a header image. I've selected to use only a background image, but then I also selected, I put on enable logo or header text options. So what I've done is I've, I've, I've put a background, I put a background image in there and then I put a logo on top of the background. All right. So for example, here's my, here's my logo. This is all my logo. All right. And if I do not want to do a logo, what I can do, I can actually, let me just get rid of this. I'll show you exactly what's going on. I can get rid of the logo and it says text options. I can also use text. All right. And here you can pick the, the font, you can pick the, uh, the size of the text, the color of it. So let me just, for example, let me just save this. Let me just save. And let me refresh. Let me refresh this. See that? Now, obviously I can change the font. I can, uh, I can move that down a little bit. 
And so if I come down to blog settings once again, and it says right here, it says, let me go down to where it says padding, right here, logo, blog, header, padding. So let me put, for example, 35, all right? Let me put 35, and now you'll see that come down a little, little bit more here. Let me refresh. There, see? And I can put anything that I want. And, and this right here, this text is controlled by where you go. You go to your settings and your general. Let me just open that up. And here it is right here, all right? Sales Press Pro, all right? That's, that's the title. And it says Internet Marketer's Dream Machine as a tagline. Well, as you can see, that tagline goes in your search bar right here, all right? That's where that's going to go. More on, the, more on the search bar a little bit, little bit later. So let me go back to the block settings. I'm gonna put that logo inside there instead. Here's the logo URL right there. And I'm gonna put the, this back to 25. So if I come back here, save the changes. Oh, sorry, save the changes. And remember, you can put any font style you want and make that clickable. There, there's my logo that's back, all right? There it is right there. So let's go back to the blog settings. That's the header options. And I've explained this to you. I explained the logo, the difference between the logo and the header text and the padding. And I can put, if I have a te header text, like I just did, I can put in a URL. And what this does, it, it adds the keyword to a URL. So I can put the home page. All right, put that as your home page. And so, for example, when this was a text and it says Sales Press Pro, or I, or I put in a different keyword and it's, and it's clickable, what that is, it's a hyperlink. And this counts as really good Google juice uh, for, for Google because when they scroll, when they scan your page, when, they're, when Google bots come and look at your page, uh, they, look, they go from top, they go to the top of the page to the bottom, and at the very top, they see a nice hyperlink with a keyword uh, going to your homepage, all right? So that's that's great to have. Um, again, you can, you can put any Google font or, or Kufon font or web WordPress font that you want as your, as your uh, header text, the size, the, the color, all right, of the text and, uh, and so forth, all right? And the hover, the weight of it, and the style if you want it italic, whatever. Uh, from here, what you have, if you come up to the if you come up to the top again now, you have what's called the navigation options. Now I have selected these on. Um, obviously, you go to your menu right here, and you go to your appearance, and you go to menus, and you set up a menu called Blog Nav, just like that. And this controls the the menu for the for the, for your blog. And I have selected it on. So if I deselect that and I save the changes, and if I come here, you'll see this nav bar disappears. Let me refresh. Okay, that's totally disappeared. That looks pretty cool, actually. I like, I like the looks of that. And uh, it looks really good. So let me just come back here and go to blog settings again. And I will select that to be on. I can put the nav bar alignment on the left or the center. Maybe in the, maybe in the future, I can put it on the right as well. This is the nav bar height. The nav bar height would be, um, let's, let me save this here and come back here so I can show you a refresh. The nav bar height is obviously in pixels from, from the top to the bottom of the nav bar. So if I make it bigger or smaller, all right, that's the nav bar height. Um, also, this is a really cool addition. This makes it really cool. I can choose a font family and I can use any Google font, any Kufon font, any WordPress font as the style of the style of the nav bar uh, fonts right here. A really, really cool feature. All right. And uh, really, really cool. So, for example, if I put in Daniel, this is going to be a funky font, by the way. I just wanted to show you that it does work. Um, if I put in this Daniel and I refresh, 
You'll see that, all right? That's like a writing style. So it does work, and uh, you can put any fonts that you want in there as, as a nav bar. Let me just change that. All right. And the font size, and you can have it normal or bold for the weight, and you can set any color. And what this is, I have it as white, a little color picker, picker comes up. But what this does, uh, for example, if I put in a, uh, a light gray here and a darker gray on the bottom, what this does is the background bottom color and the background top color. So if I, if I save this, you're gonna see the nav bar on the top of it's gonna be light gray and the bottom is a darker gray. It kind of gives you a faded, nice, nice look. So if I refresh this, you'll see there that it's light on the top and darker on the bottom. Now let me, make, let me make it a little bit lighter on the top. There it is right here. Where those out again? Oh, also nav bar, nav bar options. There you go. So let me uh, make that a little bit lighter. There you go. And let me just uh, save. Just to show you the effect. Um, there you go. So that's a nice fader cook. And I can make this text to be white uh, instead of dark or whatever I want. Obviously, in my blog settings, sorry, in my blog settings, I have it as white, both of them. Go to navbar options, and I have selected uh, them to be white, the whole navbar to be white. Then the text color and the hover color is a light gray, and the hover text color you can set right here. And then the bottom line, um, there's a bottom line, and you can set the, the pixels, the thickness of it right here. So if I put in five, all right, and if I uh, save this, it's going to be a thicker line now. So I, if I save this, you'll see here that there's a, a gray line. You can see it coming across right here, and it's five pixels wide, and it goes across the whole width of the thing. So that's what that bottom, that bottom color is. We'll go to nav bar options, and you'll see a bottom line color. I just want mine to be, to be one. Now it says show navigation bar in full page width. Now I have it selected on, so the navigation bar goes across the whole, the whole width of the page here, right, right to the very sides. But if I turn this off, if I turn this off, you'll see here that um, this is really great if you have a header image that only goes to the, uh, if you're using a header image and not a, not a background, so it just, it'll just go to here. So let, let me just refresh. Okay, you'll see that the nav bar just comes to the sides here of the whole page. And if I just if I have a header image, by the way, it'll also just come come right here. All right, and not the full width like a background header image does. So that's what that'll do. And that looks pretty cool too. I, I can obviously just have that. But what I've done for illustration purposes, I have selected the nav bar to be the full width. All right, to be the full width. And what this does here, it says show navigation bar above the header or the logo. So let me just select that on. And let me just come back here. And just let me, uh, now it's going to be showing up above the header. Let me just refresh. And there it is there. You see that? And that looks pretty cool too, especially if I change the color of it to be something else. And I can make it so that it's, uh, it doesn't go to the full width just right here. All right. But let's, let me go back. And that's a navigation. And uh, I'll put it below and I will save the changes. All right. Let's hit refresh. And we are back. All right. So let me go back to the blog settings once again. And now we've gone through the header logo options, the navigation options. And now we're going to go through the search bar blog page options. What this does, obviously, it says the enable search bar on or off. So right now I have it on, and these are my colors. It has a top color to be light blue, and the bottom color to be darker blue. And what that does is that gives me a, a search bar. Here's a search bar. And so the top of it is a light blue, the bottom is a darker blue, and, uh, and, uh, and this would go up. This would appear right at the very top of the, uh, the paid content box area. And so if I, turn this off and I save it 
you'll see here that there is no search bar. And that looks pretty cool too. I can change the, the, the color of the, um, the nav bar to blend in real nice. So that's a good, that looks nice too. Um, for your search bar blog options, if I turn that back on, it says enable social share on posts, single page. So for example, um, this right here, it says there's an author box, but it also it says, enjoy this post, share it. And it says, tweet this or share on Facebook. And if I want this to be off, I unselect that and that'll be off. It also says, show author info on the post, right? Now the author info is right here, this box right here. So if I want to remove this box and I want to remove this share box on posts, all I need, need to do is unselect those, all right? Obviously I have them selected on. Now what this is here, it says posts per page. What this means that, and the default is five, all right? Um, what this does is that obviously if you have a home page, obviously you have a blog home page, and what this will do is that it'll it'll give two posts, full posts on that on that home page, and then under that it'll give excerpts, all right, on that. So if you want uh, a number of posts to show in full, you put it right here, and then after that it'll be excerpts. Um, here is obviously it says sidebar content posts info background image URL. And that's, that's a whole lot of stuff here. Now what this does, what this does, um, it adds an image in the sidebar. If you go to the sidebar, let's go to the sidebar now. I have in the sidebar, what, there, what you can do in each section, you can put a border around each section. Here's another section, important pages. I can put a nice border around this section. Here's another section. I can put another border around this section and I can uh, have it as an image or I can have it just as a line and I can I can have the line uh, padding from this line. Here's, the, here's a uh, sectional break and I can have the line, I can control the padding between this this border and this line here. I can control the padding and I can also control the thickness of the border. All right, just let me show you. Now obviously in, the, in this setup here, let me just control this over here. I have no image. Instead, I have selected use a color option as a background instead of image and I have this on. And it says the border thickness. I have this as zero. Okay, that means there's no border. Now let me, let me show you. If I put here uh, three, and if I put here, uh, that's the color right here of the border. And if I, uh, let's see if there's padding here. Here's the padding. So um, inner padding is set 16. Let's, let me show it, see what this looks like. I don't know, I don't know what it'll look like. Um, I'll just show you that, how, what's possible here, all right? Let me just refresh. See that? See how it puts a, uh, a, a border around each of the sections? You see that? that that's, that's, that's pretty cool. And you can control the thickness, you can control the color, and you can control the padding, the padding between this line here and this sectional break here, all right? So um, you can control that. You can make this line move in, you can make it move out, and, and giving, giving you therefore more room, whatever you wanna do, all right? So that's, that's a real cool feature there, sectional breaks. Now you'll see here that there's also, instead of using the, um, let me come back here to search bar op blog options. Instead of using a color option, let me just deselect that. And let me click on the, uh, it says, right, right now there should be a default image um, set up. So if I click on save, uh, let me click on save. There's a default image and it's diagonal lines. Let me just, let me refresh now. And here it is right here. See this image right here? And it's like a diagonal image. And I can increase the 
the width of that. And what it does also, it, it puts a diagonal image on this section here, uh, which is at the bottom of the post, to get, all right? But you can see here, I can increase the thickness of this by going to the, to the blog settings and the search bar settings. And here's right here, sidebar thickness. So if I put this at, for example, five um, and save changes, you'll see here that the thickness border here is going to be thicker. Let me refresh. And now it's gonna be thicker. You see that? And uh, it looks pretty good, actually. It looks really good. And I can change the padding. Obviously, this image is a little bit too big. I can make a, uh, make the image smaller to fit in here a little bit more um, if I'm gonna use an image like that, all right? Or else I can change the padding to come back over, to come back more over here. Let me just, just let me show you how the padding works. Let me go to block settings. And I'll put the padding, um, here's the inner padding to be at, uh, say, 5, for example. And let me save, save the changes. And I'll show you the padding. The padding is going to be right here, all right? Let's let me refresh. Okay, see that? Now, that looks good, all right? That centered the image. Uh, the padding is a little bit closer now. And that's looking really, really good. I like that, all right? Now I'm not. I'm going to have zero in there. I'm going to have it just clear. So I just go back to. Uh, sorry, that just come back here. Blog settings, search bar, and I'm going to have the. Uh, there's going to be no color, and there's going to be. What I'm going to do is I'm to, going to put the sidebar border thickness at zero, and obviously what this does is uh, I'm going to put that at 16, and what this does is it obviously puts no nothing in there at all so let me just refresh and now there's nothing there you see that just sections and lastly in the nav bar section or not the nav bar excuse me in the search bar section blog options the last thing here is show post excerpts on home page obviously if you want to have excerpts on your home page you have this on and it'll show excerpts with a read more uh, button all right with a read more button so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off uh, pretty soon here. I just want to show you this, the footer options. This is fairly simple. You can see on the bottom here, there's a robust footer. And it's got four sections. It's got four footers in there right now, or four widgets. One, two, three, and four. And what you can control here is you can control the color you can, uh, of the, the blue. You can control the, uh, the color of these icons here inside your widget. But I'll just show you here the settings here. So this is the footer options. You control the color. The uh, enable, first you have to enable it if you want to have it. And you can set the text color and the link color right here. So the text color will obviously be uh, right here and there's a link right there, see that link? And there's also links on the, on the footer links. You'll see the footer color, the footer color right here. This text here is, is controlled, is controlled let me bring it up, not in the footer options right here on the blog, but in the footer options right here, right here. And you can, you can control what pages you want to see. Right now I've got sales video demo, all pages, and they show up, these links right here. See that? So you can control, control this color link and what pages you want in there in the, in the general footer section. Let me bring this up right here. It says general footer blog settings. So this is marked at least on an overview of the all the settings of the blog page template. And we'll go into more particulars on how I was able to design the, the sidebar and some other bells and whistles that I did here. And I'm even going to give you a whole bunch of images just like this. Thank you. And this is Mark Delise signing off.